Hello, everybody. Today is something I've been talking about for a while. It's a contest I'm having for my Road to 400 subscriber giveaway. Now, this one is a little different. Why? Because I'm doing it with the love of my life, Marie Gifford. She is, well, she beat 500. Everybody's subbing to her. Whatever. <laughs> she's over 500 subscribers, so she's having her sub 500 subscriber giveaway. And we were talking, and we thought it might be fun to do it together. So, I'm going to go through all of my prerequisites to be in the contest, i.e. the questions, of course, right? And the prizes give away. But I have a surprise. If you enter both of our contests, I'm docking stuff over over here. Enter both of our contests, there is going to be a grand prize winner. And I have the prize, and I'll show you in just a moment. So... With this contest, for mine, it is a very mixed bag of product. And I pick things that either has a movie coming in, things that make me happy, things that make you happy, things that a movie just happened or something that's released. So I just tie it into popular fandoms right now. It's a whole mixed bag of stuff. Hmm. Um, so let's go with the questions. Five questions. If you do a video entry, five entries. If you comment down below, one entry. Okay. So, what is one of your pet peeves? What just ticks you off while you're driving down the street? Nobody turns the turn signal. They don't go when they're supposed to go. They're at the grocery store. Oh, the mall. That's a good one. When you're walking six wide at the mall, really, really slow, and they look at you like you're an a-hole because you want to get around. That's a pet peeve when it irritates you. Let us know what that is. Number two. What is a favorite holiday tradition of yours? It doesn't have to be Christmas. It can be Easter or Halloween, Thanksgiving. A tradition that you personally look, look forward to every year. It could be rotten eggs in your brother's socks. I don't know. Just let us know what your hol a holiday tradition for you is. <sighs> what is an item on your bucket list? Or, if you don't have a bucket list, what is something that you've already done you've always wanted to do? Um, dead or alive? Who would you like to meet and ask them one question? Number five. What is your favorite item in my collection? And if you guess my favorite item, I'll give you a bonus entry. I've said it many times in a couple previous videos. Go look it up. <laughs> Anyways, for the prizes. Like I said, this is a very mixed bag of product. So... Star Wars coming out, right? Episode 9. I got this Star Wars Galaxy Magazine issue. No, Star Wars Episode 8, not Episode 9. Issue 9. Way back at Shadows of the Empire. And what year is this? Fall of 1996. Mm -hmm. It's bad boys. Quite old. What, 21 years old? Yeah. Okay. Now, let me set this down. I have nowhere to set stuff. The... So there's a movie that came out today. Spider-Man, right? Homecoming. Mm -hmm. So why not a web of Spider-Man number one? Cool, right? That is the original issue. It's not a reproduction. It is... The first print of Web of Spider-Man number one. And I'm not going to tell you what year because, well, wait. 1984. Okay. How about 
story that DC should get on once they're done with this rubbish they're working on right now. I'm the biggest DC fan. Look behind me. How about a Death of Supergirl Infinite Crisis issue with Superman on the cover? This is issue number seven. The famous cover with Super Supergirl dead in Superman's arms. He's crying like a little baby. I would too. All right. How about... All right, so... Avengers 3 slash Infinity Gauntlet Infinity War is coming up, right? So I, why not the Infinity War? Number one. Um, I don't know what year this is. I know I bought it in the 90s sometime, but I'm not going to take it out of plastic. It's Infinity, Infinity War number one. Speaking of said um, Infinities, why not the Infinity Gauntlet? Number one. Cool, right? So, why not follow that even farther and go to the Infinity Crusade? It's shiny, right? Shiny ass comic book. Uh, this this is June. Doesn't have a year, but uh, yeah, like I said, I got all these back in the nineties. Now, this is a story that I thought DC should have went with in the first place. The Death and Return of Superman. Yes, they took pieces from it and totally bastardized it. How about that? Red bloody variant. It's the Death of Superman fighting Doomsday. Boom, boom, boom. Still in the plastic bag. Never been opened. Completely sealed. Now, since in a week and a half, The Walking Dead's coming back. Season 8. Why not have a everybody's favorite badass mm. a Carol piece of her fabric card fabric card there we go there is a congratulations a piece of relic card um an authentic AMC's walking dead season six relic card Kellen Pelletier screen a screen worn jacket boom pretty exciting right all right. So, and just for giggles, I've got all of these old hologram chase cards. Look at the Superman from the Clark. Do that. There's the little Star Trek. There's uh, Smallville, or no, Lewis and Clark. There's uh, Archangel. There's uh, okay, Wave Rider. We got a uh, black cat. There's uh, a couple from Star Trek. We got a cool, cool looking Venom one. There's a whole bunch. Now, a couple more items. Me and the lovely Miss Marie oh. got a spur up our butt and went to Halloween Palooza in Iowa from from Illinois. We drove like five hours to go to this thing, and I got a print. From this artist named Jeremiah Lambert. Halloween is coming, so let's why not do a little trick or treating? Isn't that a cool print? Look at that. I know the light's kind of sucking, but I got him to sign it. It's signed right down there. It is 11 by 17, I think. Pretty. 11 by. What do you say? 11 by 13? 13 by 11? Something like that. I don't know. Anyways, that's a pretty cool looking print. I don't know if you guys can get close enough with that. There we go. Now, what you all are waiting for. I've had these for a little bit. It's a set of figures. Mm -hmm. These figures came out in 2010. So that's seven years ago. Um... We, we talked about Miss Marie and I about horror fandoms. I thought I would go with the geeky side and she'll go with the horror side. This has something to do with the middle. Um, so this is for the grand prize winner. Everybody who enters her contest and my contest will be entered to the grand prize drawing. What you get is Peter Venkman. 
cool eight inch cloth figure. And then you get Winston Zedmore. And then you get Ray Stance. And then you get Egon Spangler. What? Is that the whole set? Why, yes it is. And just for a bonus, why not throw in this cool displayable proton pack and a cool little display. I think this came from the new movie, but you know, proton pack's a proton pack, right, nonetheless. That's just a button to go in the package box to make y'all happy. So, don't forget, five questions, five entries for a video, one entry for a comment. You get all the cool comic stuff and the sand print. Enter both of our contests and you'll get all that cool Ghostbuster stuff. Now, go down below and enter my contest and then enter Marie's contest and win some cool stuff. Thanks. Anyways, hope to hear from you and some new folks from Marie's channel. I love talking to new people and hopefully I'll find you. Thanks. Bye.